What's up, good friends? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great pre-Thanksgiving. Been by to see my mom, got some of her rolls, got some pies, gonna have a good time for Thanksgiving, and Bad news for you Giants. I'm doing something that I've never done before on Thanksgiving. And we're going to do a big sub. We're going to do the big sub. We're going to make a big sub sandwich with the leftovers. You know, I didn't realize, you know, you, you go through bad times. And you want to forget the bad times. And I, I hadn't realized that we have lost the last five Thanksgiving games. So, one of the things that I know, I haven't been having Joe Boo wings, and I haven't been having the big sub. Got the big sub. Gonna have some Joe Boo wings, and hopefully we're gonna have a victory over the Giants. And, um, I don't wish injury on anybody. I'm just reporting about the injuries that are happening. Uh, we know Micah Parsons has been a little bit nicked up, and he's you know, always a little bit nicked up. But that's a guy who was literally had to be helped up off the field but wanted to play even more late into the fourth quarter of an ass-kicking game. That guy is a throwback. That guy is an absolute positive beast. The Giants on this short week, which today is a traveling day for them, they're traveling today to Dallas for the game. They are beat up even worse than we are. And they have some more bad news here, um, as if the injuries they've already had have not been bad enough. Their rookie offensive tackle, Evan Neal, who has not been an awful draft pick. I mean, he's not Chaz Green or Eric Flowers or anything like that. Um, hasn't been great. He averages out to about a 49 uh, rating on pro football focus. He's not Tyler Smith. I, I, I will say that. He's not Tyler Smith. See, the Cowboys got the right one. It's kind of amazing. Okay, well, he's out. He's not playing tomorrow. So they're going to have to juggle their offensive line some more. Now, interesting thing was, thinking about Daniel Jones, white chocolate. Um, Daniel Jones, believe it or not, two games that we had with the fewest sacks this season. Cowboys leading the NFL with 42 sacks, literally having more sacks than about 80% of the years we've had with the Cowboys. But with Daniel Jones, white chocolate, they only sacked him twice. Micah Parsons had no sacks. He had a lot of pressures, but no sacks. And Evan Neal was eaten for lunch. Seriously. He was eaten for lunch. That might be why he's not playing this week, because they literally ate him for lunch. So he's out, which is another big blow to the Giants. They're going to be limping into Dallas. Now, before we all get all giddy about everything, understand we said the same thing about the Green Bay Packers. Um, but the difference this week is I didn't have the big sub. Didn't have the big sub on that game. And I, I take it personally that I, I messed up. So that's why, not that we need more food for Thanksgiving, okay, for my fat ass, but I, I got to do it for my Cowboys, got to do it for my Cowboys, and uh, that's where we are, good people, Evan Neal, not playing for the Giants tomorrow, and uh, I got two more stops before I can get back to the man cave, and I'm going to start actually prepping some of my stuff for tomorrow, tonight, and uh I appreciate each and every one of you guys, as well as you ladies, for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Appreciate it. Peace.